well, if you're doing chemistry, you should know the principles of it. You should know um, why events take place, why reactions take place, why properties have their particular values, and so on. So uh, to, to, have a, to be a complete chemist, it is essential to understand the physics that underpins it, so that you can really say, ah, I understand very little to add to that uh, other than to say that uh, if chemistry has to be beyond just the what and has to be about the how and the why and that's what physical chemistry provides as Peter said and I th would, th would say as well that the thing that physical chemistry gives you is, is quantitative data so it's not just an explanation but it's an explanation that goes to that next level of being able to say uh, not only is it like this, but it's like this, and these are the numbers, and we can understand the numbers we get. It's turning into a really quantitative science. I, th I think I'd like to add to that. I, I think um, science, and chemistry in particular, is all about insight. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that physical chemistry gives you insight into what is happening underneath the world of appearances. And beyond the insight, uh, or from the insight, you also get predictive power. So these numbers power uh, have that power to enable predictions about future processes you might be interested in understanding. And it's, it, it, it's not just numbers, mm -hmm. it's understanding and having an intuition mm -hmm. about behavior so that you can really understand why molecules behave in the way that they do. And I think that's what physical chemistry provides you with. So it's, it's uh, obviously the quantitative act, act aspects of it are very important, but so too is the gut feeling about the way that uh, molecules and atoms behave.